In today's video, I want to talk about the reasons why I keep coming back to the same landscape photography locations. Now today I've got my Nikon D750 and I was here not too long ago. You probably would have seen a video on my channel. I'll leave it up here if you haven't seen it. You can have a look at it a little bit later on. But this particular tree here at Brighton is very popular with photographers. The last time I was here, it was a really overcast, dreary day and I went for a, like a, a dramatic, really emotive black and white shot. Now at the moment, the clouds are looking really good out the west here and I think we're in for a really nice sunset. I guess when it comes to landscape photography and going back to the same locations, when you're shooting a certain subject, it's all about the light and you get different types of light patterns hitting your subject. In this case, it's the tree. And you always get differing results. It's just really interesting to compare it to your previous visits. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get set up and get the Nikon D750 on the tripod and let's go and do some photography. What I'm doing now is I'm just uh, walking along the bank and I'm just trying to work out some different type of frames. The tide is coming in pretty quickly. I think high tide is at about um, seven o'clock. Now it's just coming into six, sunsets at 6.30. I found this great position here and I've got my uh, Nikon AFS uh, 70-200 f2.8 G lens with me. Now, if I put that on the Nikon D750, I think I'll be able to use something around about that 100 mil mark and I'll be able to go in tighter on that tree and get those clouds in the background. There is a problem with my theory there. Tide is moving in very fast here and I think the tide, probably the water is gonna be here in about another 15 minutes. So that messes up that theory. <laughs> what more can you want? Nikon D750, beautiful location, seawater, smelly dead fish. I love it. So the good news is there is some really beautiful cloud coming in. I don't know if you can see this behind me here. And that is starting to move straight across. I'm heading back to where I was originally and I'm going to set up and I'm going to leave the uh, Nikon 16-35 to f4 VR lens on the front of the Nikon D750. Okay, so that sun is just now starting to get down to below the horizon. I've got this beautiful cloud just come straight in over top of my main subject. Well, I thought I wasn't gonna get any sort of cloud, but wow, look at this. This is fantastic. So I'm just gonna do a quick test shot here. This is an ISO 100 F11 at about 1 20th of a second, just two second timer release. Yeah, you know, when that sun gets down, it should get underneath this cloud and um, should be a really beautiful shot. What I've done now is I've just put the 10 stop ND filter in because I'm just getting that really beautiful color coming up on the clouds now. And because the clouds are moving so beautifully across the sky, I think this is gonna make for a really beautiful long exposure shot. What I'm actually gonna do is when you've got the D750, unlike the D850, you can um, close the shutter up at the back. But with the D750, you can't do that. So what I've got to do is I've just got this little eyepiece closure. I got this when I got the D750, so I'm just gonna cover up that. You don't get any sort of light leakage coming in onto your shots and it ruins your shots. So I'll just put up on screen a couple of shots what happens when you get light leakage coming in through the viewfinder. Really does mess up your day. But anyway, I love the way that light is, the cloud is happening.
Well guys, I hope this video has helped explain the reasons why I like to come back to the same landscape photography location again and again. As I always say, never stop creating and I'll see you next time.